force that is responsible for exalting and releasing Jesus, revealing him to the world, is called the force of influence. Write it down, please. Influence is power. The force of influence. The force of influence. Influence is power. Please write it down. Influence is great power. The force of influence. Influence, like money, are related. They shape civilizations. They define people's understanding. They define people's thinking. They define people's values at any given point. Can I tell you? Our world today is not just going at the mercy of time. Our world today is a reflection of the mindset of certain influential people, godly or otherwise. From technology to sociology to the language we use, the way we raise children, the way family is run. Are we together now? The way ministry is run, the way businesses are conducted. Civilization influence literally shapes civilization. What does it mean to influence? Number one, the capacity to have an effect. Influence is defined as the capacity to have an effect on the character, perceptions, behaviors, decisions, and the values. Of another I will take it again influence is the capacity to have an effect whether positively or negatively an effect on the character on the perceptions on the behavior on the decisions and on the value of another when you have an effect on the character the perception, the behavior, the decisions, and the values of another, you are exerting influence upon that person. One last time, the capacity to have an effect on the character, number one. Number two, the perception. Number three, the behavior. Number four, the decisions. Number five, the values of another is called influence. Please look up. This concept of influence is very powerful and is very profound because you see a handful of people historically and even now are the ones who are always responsible for shaping and defining the narrative of a civilization. Are we together now? That people, a crowd of people will usually 